I'm Marion Brickner. The focus of my images always seems to be showing there's an individual who lives inside that body. It doesn't seem to matter to me what body they happen to live in. So it could be a dog body, a praying mantis body, even a person body, a lemur, a bear, a cat. I want to see who are you. That seems to be what I've been doing for 15 years as a professional photographer. The book that I've been working on in my head for another 10 years, which is, What Are They Thinking? There is a picture in there of three chimpanzees conferring. They're very close with each other. One is holding up what I think is a big piece of kale. And the caption is, I'm pretty sure it's lettuce. So when I take an image, I never seem to want to photograph an image unless I have a what I think of as a use for it. There's another project that I've been working on for a long time is animals, animals who are related to each other, who are willing to line up for a family picture. And that book is called Paws on a Line, Claws and Hoofs Too. There are families everywhere. And there are pictures of dogs who have either lived together or have enough play dates to be comfortable sitting next to each other, lined up with their paws on a line, looking into the camera. I really, really, really wanted five sheep to look into the camera. And finally, I found someone who had sheep. My camera body is very quick, so I, I need a fifth of a second to get the image. And they looked for a fifth of a second, and I got it. And after eight years, I was so happy. When I was photographing the lady praying mantis on the cover of Animals Don't Wear Lipstick, I had my special equipment out there and was ready to take her picture. And I said, she's sitting on top of a bunch of bushes. And I said, hey, just look here. <laughs> she actually turned and looked. And I took the picture and said, thank you. And she wandered off. I don't know how to explain my relationship with the animals. I somehow feel like a seven-month-old infant who, who can't communicate with words, but senses the other individuals around me. And um, when I look at an individual who happens to live in an animal body, I, I'm saying, hey, what's up? And, and they seem to respond. The, the image that I want is, is her saying, I did it. My person asked me and I did it. And I'm hoping that when you look at my images, whatever the animal is that we're looking at, that you get a sense that there is an actual individual living in that body.